Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys, are you able to, since it's a private school, are you able to incorporate your ministry in that too? So to kind of... Well, we get, we have like a Becca Books. It's a Christian schooling system and it's like based on the King James Version Bible. Okay. So that's kind of incorporated in your Yeah, that's the book that's the, that the schooling oh, okay. thing that we use. Oh, so. okay. Um, and as far as like college or things like that, is that something that's you're mm. thinking about or wanting to do or not interested in? Not really. My job is fine. I don't need to go to college for it, so. Okay. What do you, what do you want to do? What's, what's what I like passion? to do really is um, I like to go out and pass out the literature. And we've, I've gone to so many places already with it, tell people all about the Lord. It's, it's very exciting, really. So yes. you tell people about the Lord and get responses. People are happy. You know, reach out your hand to people that are lost. I like to help people mm-hmm. to give them something that's better. Yeah. Than what they have. Than what they have. Yeah. Where have you, where have you gotten to go? Went to Los Angeles, to New York. Uh, so many places. I'll just, let's say I've been to Wisconsin, Michigan, Kansas City, um, Utah, Colorado, um, New Mexico, Arizona, Georgia, all over the place. Oh, <laughs> wow. And you go like to the bigger cities in those states? Or we go to big, all cities, like in many cities. Like we look at the weather and see what's clear. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's little. Yeah. And how do you guys get there? We travel. Car. Uh, car? Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, like if you flew or... Uh-huh. <laughs> and who all goes with you when you go? Uh, we have brothers, like brother crews and mm-hmm. sisters crews. Adults, and sometimes we have some people like me, teenagers. Okay. And when you go, like, just you're handing out literature, or what all do you do when you're going to We put it on cars, and we, we give it to people, too. Like, if we go downtown, or if we, you know, if there's people where people are gathered, a place where people are gathered, we like, go there and give it to them. Okay. Tell them about the Lord. Just go and either put on cars or if they're people you see go gathered, you give them literature and tell mm-hmm. them about the Lord. And and when you do that, how do people respond to you? Many different ways. Yeah. Some people say that they hate God. Mm-hmm. Some people say, I'm the devil. Some people are, that's exactly what they're looking for. They're so mm-hmm. thankful for it. Mm-hmm. Some people tell me, I mean, say things about the ministry that are untrue. Mm-hmm. And they say things about Pastor Long that they heard and they say it's true, but totally untrue. Mm-hmm. And you get all kinds of responses. That's the thing about it. you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. And so, yeah. So is there any other thing that you, when you went over to other cities or states, that you've gotten to do or that you do? Or is that basically? Yeah, that's what we do. Okay. Um. So that's kind of what you want to do yeah. for the rest of your life. Okay. I mean, plus the world's not going to last much longer. Yeah. As you can see, um, natural disasters going off, off all, of, all over the place. People think it's Mother Nature, but it's really God. Mm-hmm. So. And those end times. Yeah. Um, so I know we talked about your home and where you live. Do you feel safe in your home? Very safe. Okay. Um, has someone ever hurt you? Never. Okay. Has someone ever done something to you that you wish they wouldn't have or you didn't like? Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, I'm, it's kind of, I mean, if they're going to put me in a foster home, I was kind of scared of that because I've heard of people not being treated well in foster homes. Mm-hmm. It's really scary. It's much safer at my own home. Mm-hmm. So you feel safe in your home. Has there ever been a time that you didn't feel safe? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you afraid of someone? Mm-mm. Okay. Has someone ever made you feel kind of afraid or scared about anything? Mm-mm. Okay. Um, do you get in trouble at your home? Or if you do, like, kind of how's the discipline, I guess you would call it, mm-hmm. or you may call it something else, but how's that in your home? My mom may rebuke me. Okay. And what does that mean, like, just, just so I understand? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell me I did something wrong. Mm-hmm. Tell me the right way to do it. And she'll slap me. Mm-hmm. And when she slaps you, like, where do you get slapped? Maybe my arm, my mm-hmm. face. Okay. Um, <laughs> you ever get slapped with, you get slapped with something? Or it's her hand. Her hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, ever left any bruises or marks or something on you? No. Okay. <laughs> Just hurt, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Slaps are never fun, I'm sure. <laughs> I bet with my mom a couple times myself, so. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> is there any other way that you get disciplined or okay and is it just your mom or does someone else discipline you so my mom i mean sometimes she called my dad and my dad wants to maybe restrict me from something okay just restrict me from well something. i mean not that he ever has but i imagine maybe he would yeah okay and, and like your mom and dad, do they work or stay at home or work in the yeah, industry? Yeah, my mom works in Texarkana at a thrift store. My dad puts refuse at the ministry, and he like he's like a janitor at night. He stays up at night, and he like cleans up, and he's just there like his phone rings if someone comes in, so many people come in the middle of the night mm -hmm. for help or something. Okay. Um. And have you guys been in the ministry all of your life, or is this something that you have? My dad and mom came when they were young. I mean, my mom was 18, my dad was 20-something. And you said, no, you didn't. You were talking about the family. You met this family, the Thorn family, okay. the ministry. Is that right? No, I'm talking about my family right now. Okay, sorry. Thank my you. dad and mom came when they were younger. Okay. And they got married in the church. Okay. And what is that? Tell me about the marriage in the church. Like, how does that? Well, I'm not sure about it because I wasn't born. Okay, does that mean that they talked about it or if you've seen other marriages in the church or how? Well, back then, the brothers and sisters all, like, talked together and everything. I mean, now they kind of do, but the boys and girls are separate because when they all talk together, some of them are, got into fornication and stuff. And his dad is in the Lord. Mm -hmm. They had to be stopped immediately, and now we don't talk to each other, which is fun to me. Okay. So, um, my mom and dad, I guess, I guess they talked. I don't know. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so, like, before, like, the um the ones that were gonna get married like the husband and wife would talk to each other before they because they wouldn't be husband and wife but yeah. like if they were courting right. they would be they would talk to each other but then they started fornicating so that would stop so is there like someone that you will marry or kind of like I mean how does that can marry whoever you want to marry mm -hmm. as long as they love you and you love them yeah um someone that's in the ministry no oh, you can marry someone out of the ministry if you want to, but it would have to go out of the ministry because they're not in the ministry. Okay, so you'd have to, that would be your choice. You'd, you'd have to leave because yeah. how can you marry someone that's not in the ministry and not be, I mean, just, you'd have to pull them in with you if they don't want to come, you'd have to go after them. Right, it's kind of unequally yoked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you, like, is there marriage ceremonies that you've seen? Or I just didn't know, like, how, when, when the marriage? Um, I think I went 20 years ago. Um, you just, like, usually after church, come mm -hmm. in and someone will marry them. Usually brother in the church. Okay, so it's not... the pastor. Okay. Who, like, if he's out of town, brother in the church, they'll marry. Mm -hmm. They'll, like, say different vows and mm -hmm. all that. And who can get married? What do you mean? Like, is there, like, I didn't know, like, if there's certain, um, like, maybe standards, like, biblical standards as far as, like, who who's able to get married, or when they're able to get married, or... Well, the law says you can't get married until you're 18. Mm -hmm. So, that's what we do. <sighs> so, I mean, that people that want to get married, they have to wait. Okay. So even if they, so, y'all go by the law too, or just Bible law, just, you know... The Bible says to, if you're like, base taking, I mean, What's it, paraphrasing? Mm -hmm. Basically says that if you're with someone, whatever they believe, you don't want to offend them. You, if you want mm -hmm. to convert them, so do do what they believe in. If it's not against, you know, if it's not a sin, mm -hmm. basically. Okay. So obey the laws of the land. It's not, it's not a sin. Okay. So even if someone wanted to get married, like they would just wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. And like, do you meet each other in the in the ministry? Is that kind of usually? What happens? Well, like if they're, you know, getting married, sometimes they'll have, like, a chaperone take them, they'll go to, 